Good morning, everybody. I have had uh, quite an interesting week uh, dealing with symptoms and the illness that has been known as COVID. Um, there was a miracle that happened yesterday. Just logging into Facebook so we can simulcast. Um, a miracle that happened in that one of the girls that is in my teaching curriculum program, an amazing woman named Jo, helped me um, to move out the majority of the illness through a process in my process teaching curriculum program. The process of the illness through a process in my anyway. Um, very, very powerful, very, very effective. And I would say that if, you know, on a scale of one to 10 with the symptoms I was feeling, and I was full fledged in the middle of them at a, at a 10, um, today I feel like I'm at about a one or a two. I have a slight headache. Um, I'm definitely tired. Uh, I need to be in quarantine for about another week because the symptoms showed up about a week ago. But um, it was really, really remarkable. When you understand that everything is made of energy, and energy uh, manifests in certain ways, you can actually talk to the consciousness of energy. Anyway, it was absolutely extraordinary. So the coughing that I had, the sore throat that I had, a lot of the symptoms that I've had have seemed to have dissipated. So that's pretty miraculous. Then I am delighted and thankful. Um, good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Gabriella. Good morning, York. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, thank you. Thank you all for being here with me this morning. Thank you for the love and the flowers. Hey, Anne, very sweet. Okay, today we are on lesson 252. And the overarching theme for these next few lessons, next 10 lessons, is the talk about what is sin. And I did a recording of Magdalene uh, yesterday afternoon. So in case you missed it, it's on the YouTube channel. It's plastered everywhere. God bless Priyanka. Uh, one of my assistants who manages to put it up everywhere. So if you didn't get a chance to see what she had to say about that yesterday, you can catch it on video. All right, today we are in lesson 252. The son of God is my identity. My self is holy beyond all the thoughts of holiness of which I now conceive. It's shimmering and perfect purity is far more brilliant than is any light I have ever looked upon. Its love is limitless with an intensity that holds all things within it. In the calm of quiet certainty, its strength comes not from burning impulses which move the world, but from the boundless love of God himself. How far beyond this world myself must be, and yet how near to me and how close to God. And the prayer says, Father, you know my true identity. Reveal it to me, who am your son, that I may awaken to the truth in you and know that heaven is restored in me. Beautiful. Okay. So let me invite Magdalene through to come and be with us and uh, receive her commentary. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, the aspect of ego that has created an identity is a false identity indeed. The aspect of creation that has an identity that is in alignment with God is the truth of you. God has never forgotten who it was that he had created when you were created, when all of life was created. And it was created as an emanation and as a representation of love. So the times in which you have forgotten 
not only forgotten yourself, but forgotten another. The times in which you allow yourself to look upon another and say, this should not be the way that it is. This person should not be behaving the way that they are. This person should not be thinking the way they are or speaking the way that they are. All that has happened is you have become embroiled in misidentification. But when you allow yourselves, beloveds, to come to the solitude, to come to mindful prayer and say, Father, Mother, show me who I am. How do I identify with you? You will be led to your heart. You will be led to love. Most importantly, beloveds, you will be led to truth. And the truth of you is that you are a being born of spirit, born of love, born of truth. You are a being of light, not of the darkness, not of the constant conversations you have about the things that are wrong. You look to disparage yourself. You look to disparage others. You look to judge and say, this is not the way that it should be. This body is not right. This job is not right. This relationship is not right. This bank account is not right. This job is not right. You look upon the world and you see all that is wrong, perception of this needs to be fixed or this needs to be altered. And you walk into a room and you want to fix pictures or adjust things rather than looking through the eyes of love and saying, look at the perfection of this beingness, without looking through a mirror and saying, look at the perfection that I can see within myself. For your true identity has no flaws, beloved ones. Your true identity is that of pure love and that which you are able to love purely and to love without condition. You will not seek to find what is wrong with it. You will not seek to find where it is broken and need be fixed. You will not seek to look and say, this should be other than the way that it is. You will look upon it and with gratitude, deep gratitude, you will be so thankful that this being is the way that they are. So can you allow yourself to do this today, beloved ones? Can you allow yourself to come upon all beings that you know and find one thing that you can be grateful for within them. I am grateful for the way the sunlight shines upon your hair. I am grateful for the way that your smile makes its way broadly across your face. I am grateful for the sound of your voice. I am grateful for your height, your width. I am grateful for the depth of knowledge and wisdom that you carry. I am grateful for the ways in which you express yourself in the world I am grateful for you, merely being an act of creation as I am. I am grateful for your friendship. I am grateful your, for your kind words. I am grateful that you are a member of my family. I am grateful that you are my neighbor. I am grateful that you are my pets, our horses, our pigs, our chickens, our cats and our dogs, our monkeys, our flying squirrels, whatever animals you have chosen. I am grateful for my car. I'm grateful for my home. I am grateful for the sun that shines. I am grateful for the clouds that eclipse the sun, yet ever knowing that the sun is real. When you can allow yourself to find gratitude, beloveds, you are closer to the true identity that you are. But when you allow yourself to be relegated to the thoughts that act like machinations within the mind, constantly judging. This is not the way that it should be. If only they were taller or thinner or smarter or faster or younger or older. If only they did the things I wanted them to do. This is what gets you into a world of trouble, beloveds, when you become enmeshed within your ego. So allow yourself today to accept all circumstances that have come to you, and for you to understand that you have chosen each and every moment of them because of the litany of choices and decisions and beliefs that you have within your egoic construct. If you find yourself within a situation that you wish was different, alter it, beloveds. Ask for the love of God to come and show it to you differently. 
show it to you through the eyes of love. And then you can align yourselves with the identity that is the one that God knows you as, the one that God created you as. And there you find freedom, and there you find joy, and there you find happiness. The son of God is truly what you are, the daughter of the goddess. It matters not the gender, beloveds. Neither is that real. The only thing that is real is the love that you are. So allow yourself today with joy and certainty to come to the place within your heart where God dwells, where the truth dwells. And know that you are that beauty, that holiness, that divinity. And there is no other way that you could be. And you go with our blessings, beloveds, as you always have and you always will. Call upon us when you forget, and we will be swift to remind you. Blessings to you always, beloved ones. We will speak with you again. Bit of the bit of the residue. Anyway, thanks everybody. Hi, Lorian. I'm definitely feeling better. Oh my goodness. What a journey this has been. I love you all. Thank you for coming and being with me this morning. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone.